What's up everyone? Lance Who Can't Dance here, aka the Big Mad Wolf. Back with another Mortal Kombat 1 video. And yes, you read that title correctly. My Ermac is better than yours. And even the majority of pro players right now. What did he say? At least until you watch this video. And then I'm sure the majority of you could probably beat me. Now, do I actually believe that I'm better than a lot of you out there and pro players? No! But I do understand something that the majority of people aren't doing right now. And I fully understand Ermac's game plan. Ermac and Janet's game plan. Basically, Ermac is an onion. For your information, there's a lot more to Ermac than people think. Example? Example. Okay, um, Ermac is like an onion. You stink? Yes. No, they make you cry. No. Oh, you leave them out in the sun, they get all brown, start sprouting little white hairs. No. Layers. Onions have layers. Ermac has layers. Onions have layers. You get it? He's so much like an onion that when you slice into his gameplay, you'll probably tear up because he has so many tools that it can be overwhelming at first. But that's why I'm here. I'm going to break this character down layer by layer and help you fully understand his and Janet's game plan. So let's get into practice mode so I can show you all what's up. So step one in breaking down this character, you really need to get his cancels down because his cancels lead into better damage and extremely good setups. So this is a drill that I've been doing every day to help me not only warm up, but to get better at executing his cancels. First is just his back forward one cancel by itself, backwards and forwards. Side note, look at how much meter he builds just from doing these cancels. The next thing I do is I do either a button or a string into the cancel. And I do that five or six times or so. Sometimes I do it about a hundred times. Just until I'm comfortable and warmed up. Now, I do a cancel into the second part of the combo, probably another five or six times, or yet again, until I'm comfortable and warmed up. Finally, I just put it all together and practice his combos a little bit. Here's some combos for you all to check out. These are pretty easy to learn after you get his cancels down. Step two in this breakdown is understanding why to cancel. Not only does it help him with his combos, but his one two string into cancel or his back two four string into cancel and grab is probably his absolute best conditioning tool. The reason why cancel into grab is his best conditioning tool is because after you get your opponent conditioned, then you can either do stand two or back to four instead of grab and catch your opponent pressing, which is otherwise known as a whiff punish. The reason your opponent would press is either to try to interrupt your cancel or they are trying to take a grab. Whiffing a button to take a grab is known as a shimmy. Step three, and probably the easiest thing so far to understand, is Ermac's only true projectile 
is a low that travels full screen. So if you do this enough, your opponent will eventually start to jump to avoid the projectile. So yeah, this step is pretty simple, it's also pretty lame. However, if you have an opponent who keeps running away from you, this definitely will help you. And they'll start jumping in at you, which you can do these crazy anti-airs. Mother of God. Okay, now step four and the final step. And this should be pretty self-explanatory by now, but Ermac is the absolute setup king in this game. So basically after all this, your main game plan is to set the opponent up with hard knockdowns or combos that end in a float. Mix them on their wake up and get Janet out to hit them like a tank. So all of these setups give you really good Oki and they give you plenty of time to go into some crazy pressure on your opponent's wake up, otherwise known as a meaty. Okay, so now that you've seen the setups, here is why Ermac is the king of this setup game. It's a big man wolf.